I think it's possible for you to never forget today. I think it's possible for you and me to communicate in such a way that you never forget what you hear and what you think. And mostly what I'm asking you to do today is think in a way that's brand new. I want you to think what you've never thought. And then I want you to write what you've never written. Because I know that what you invent is way more powerful than what I speak. And my job is to speak in a way that you invent something, you think something you've never thought. Now I've got, uh, I've got 12 primary skills I want to highlight. And they're going to be these 12 chairs. And I'm going to link each one of these skills to a gesture. And I'm going to do that to help you remember the skills and so that you remember what you invent to use these skills at home and at work. And now what I want to do is really get to work. So to get to work, you do this. You take off your coat, you roll up your sleeves, those of you who have sleeves, and we get to work. And again, what I'm asking you to invent is how you're going to use this skill. So back to this first skill. It's the skill of self-examination. It's when you pull out a figurative magnifying glass, just like Sherlock Holmes does when he's being a great detective. You pull out a figurative magnifying glass and you examine yourself. And you then become a self-examining human. And you start to see yourself. And when you do that, your life will alter everywhere. That's right. How can you use, what are the ways that you can use managing your time now and in the future, at work and at home, in your professional life and your personal life? Here's my favorite, my most practiced technique from this, and it's be here now. It's to do what you're doing when you're doing it and to be where you are when you're there. Have you ever had that experience of uh, going to a movie theater and getting a bag of popcorn and then sitting down and you watch the movie and you're so engrossed in the movie and you look down and your popcorn's gone and you kind of wonder who ate it? Well, you ate it, but you weren't there. You were so engrossed in the movie that you weren't even enjoying the popcorn. So what I'm recommending is that you be here now as one of the most powerful techniques to manage your time. Often you're thinking about what's going to happen in five minutes from now. Or you think, what happened five minutes ago? Or sometimes you're thinking, what's going to happen in five hours or in five days from now? So when you're thinking about all that, you're not here now. You're in the future. You're futurizing. Or you're in the past. You're pasteurizing. But the idea is to be right here, right now, completely focused, completely attentive. It's the skill of communication. And in communication, what I believe is that people forget that listening is far more powerful than speaking. That you can assist others by listening to them soulfully, radically, completely. And how do you listen? With your eyes and your ears and your heart wide open. So then communicating to put 90% of your attention on how you listen and 10% on what you say. And when you speak, I recommend that you pre-rehearse either in your mind or on paper or even out loud what you're going to say. So that when you do speak, it's really worth others listening to. And mostly, though, in communicating. If you want that communication to be effective, practice that skill of listening. Diversity. Diversity. To practice diversity, and what I recommend is in every area of life. Of course, with your friends, you want a diverse racial group. You want a diverse age group. Of friends, I think you even want a diverse financial group. Don't just hang out with people that have the same amount of money you do. Find some rich friends. Find some poor friends. Find some black friends. Find some white friends. Find some tall and some short friends. And for sure, find some old and some young friends. So practice diversity everywhere. 
And for sure, practice diversity in what you eat. Also in your exercise, practice diversity, because all the sports therapists, the sports psychologists, they know that you want to cross-train. Uh, and with money, practice diversity. You don't want to invest all your money in one place. You want to spread it around. So in every area of your life, diversity is something to be embraced and welcomed. Take three by five cards or any other kind of paper and you write down what you want for the rest of your life in every area of life. This is an unusual idea and I started doing it about 20 years ago and it changed my life. And you write down what you want for the next five years and in the next year and the next five days. And then you write down what you want in the next 10 years and the next 20 years. And then you write down what you want in the next 40 and 50 years. You write down what you want for every area of your life, for the rest of your life and beyond your life. So you even write down what you want in 100 years from now. Now I realize that you don't know what's going to happen in 100 years. Nobody does. Of course you don't know. This is not a prediction. What I'm recommending that you write down is what you want, not what you fear and not what you predict. And when you start to write down in detail and get past, well, I don't know what I want or I'm not sure what I want. And when you write down in detail what you imagine would be paradise in 100 years from now, it's way more likely that you'll get to paradise in just a few years from now. But the best ideas here are what you write down and what you invent, so thanks for writing, thanks for speaking, and thanks for being here.